Knee pain. Common causes of knee pain. Knee pain is very common. And in this video, we will present the most common problems that can cause pain in the knee. The problem can occur in the kneecap itself, which is called the patella, and that is in front of the knee or from the tendons attached to the kneecap the patellar tendon, and the quadriceps tendon. One of the most common problems of the kneecap called patellar condomalacia, which is chronic pain due to softening of the cartilage beneath the kneecap. The cartilage of the kneecap will have some erosions, defects, or holes from mild to complete inside the joint. It's exactly in the back of the kneecap. So the patient will have pain in front of the knee. The condition occurs more in young people and the condition becomes worse from climbing upstairs and going downstairs. Treatment is usually non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication and physiotherapy. Surgery is very rare. Also, in front of the kneecap, the patient may get pain due to prepatellar bursitis. Here is a normal prepatellar bursa, and here is an inflamed prepatellar bursitis. When there is prepatellar bursitis, the patient will see that the swelling, the inflammation, and the pain is located over the front of the kneecap. The bursa becomes inflamed and fills with fluid at the top of the knee, causing pain, swelling, tenderness, and the alarm in the area on top of the kneecap. And if the pain is in front of the knee, but below or above the patella, that may indicate the patient has tendinitis. The patellar tendon works with the quadriceps tendon to straighten the leg. Patellar tendonitis is an overused condition that often occurs in athletes who perform repetitive jumping activities. Patellar tendonitis is a knee pain that is associated with focal patellar tendon tenderness and it is usually activity-related. It is located below the kneecap, and it is called jumper's knee. Patellar tendinitis affects approximately 20% of jumping athletes. There will be tenderness to palpation at the distal pole of the patella in extension and not in flexion. Quadriceps inflexibility and atrophy and hamstring tightness are predisposing factors for this condition. Treatment, rest, anti-inflammatory medication, stretching and strengthening of the hamstring and the quadriceps. Use eccentric exercise program. The early stages of patellar tendinitis will respond well to non-operative treatment. Surgery in severe cases with debridement and repair of the tendon if conservative treatment fails for 6 to 12 months. Another important cause of knee pain is a meniscal tear. Here you are looking inside and on top of the knee and you can see the medial meniscus and the lateral meniscus. The meniscus is the cushion that protects the cartilage of the knee. Injury will cause pain on the medial or the lateral side of the knee, exactly at the level of the joint. The patient will complain of a history of locking, instability, and swelling of the knee. McMurray test will be positive.
But the most important test is tenderness exactly at the level of the joint. And the MRI is usually very helpful. Arthritis of the knee. Knee arthritis is very common. The cartilage cells dies with age and its repair response decreases and the joint collapses with increased breakdown of the framework of the cartilage. Patient will have progressive wearing away of the cartilage of the joint with decreased joint space as seen in x-rays. Another source of pain is a baker cyst. Baker cyst is a swelling in the back of the knee filled with synovial fluid. The cyst is in the back of the knee between the semimembranosus and the mediac gastric muscle. Another important source of knee pain is ligaments injury. Here is a normal knee without ligament injury. You can see from the frontal view the medial and lateral collateral ligament and in the middle of the knee. You can see the ACL and the PCL from the side view. These ligaments are usually injured as a result of sports activities. This is an example of any ligaments injury. Here the lateral collateral ligament is injured. And here is an example of medial collateral ligament injury. The medial collateral ligament is the most commonly injured knee ligament. Injury to this ligament is on the inner part of the knee. Here, an example of an injury of the anterior crochet ligament. It involves valgus stress to the knee. Usually, the patient will have a swelling and hematoma. Blackman test is usually positive, and the MRI is diagnostic. Another important cause of knee pain is the iliotibial band syndrome of the knee. Inflammation and thickening of the iliotibial band result from excessive friction as the iliotibial band slides over the lateral femoral condyle. The iliotibial band is a thick band of fascia that extend along the lateral thigh from the iliac crest to the knee. And as the knee moves, the iliotibial band is repeatedly shifted forward and backwards across the lateral femoral condyle. And the impingement usually occurs around 30 degree of knee flexion. Patient will complain of swelling, tenderness, crepitus over the lateral femoral condyle. Condition occurs in runners, cyclists, and in athletes that require repeated knee flexion and extension. Pain may be reproduced by doing a single leg squat. Ober test is used to assess tightness of the iliotibial band. MRI may show edema in the area of the iliotibial band. Treatment, usually non-operative, with rest and ice, and physiotherapy, stretching, proprioception, and improvement in neuromuscular coordination, training modifications, injection may be helpful, Surgery is the last resort, which entails excision of the scarred, inflamed part of the iliotibial band. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.